In today's video, I want to show you one of the best edge pressures in Madden NFL 21. And um, as you can see, guys, it's a really, really good pressure. We're going to jump into the breakdown here in just a second. But for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level through tips, through strategies that I post here on YouTube every single day, at least four videos every single day. Sometimes we do more than that if we can, but we try to put as many tips out there as possible um, so that you can always be up to date on the best tactics uh, to be able to win this game. So if you guys enjoy these tips or if you they help you get better what i want to encourage you to do right now is to click subscribe at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and also if you haven't already be sure to join the discord discord is in the link of the description for those of you that don't know what discord is it's basically a community communication platform that you can utilize that basically just allows you to connect with other madden players talk madden 24 7 um, essentially it's a nice communication little um, app that you can get on your phone all right, guys, so the word in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook, in my opinion, the second best playbook in the game. My favorite's the 46 playbook, but nickel 245 is is really, really tempting um, just because it's such a good formation. You get such good pressure from it, and it's a very versatile defense. Now, one thing I do want to quickly point out is I have talked a little bit about this play, but I haven't talked about it like I'm going to talk about it today. And one of the things that I really want to stress with you is that you always want to have your fastest personnel on the field at all times. So I like to put uh, safeties at the um, the linebacker position, and then I like to have you know my fast defensive ends. And then what I would like to tell you, if you're running the Packers, your fastest blitzing corner. So for us, it's going to be Perry Nickerson. Now, we're going to run the play Buck Slant 3. And I know I've talked about this before on my channel, but I want to refresh it, and I want to talk about it a little bit different. There's a little bit of a different setup that I think makes it a little bit more effective. Um, and so all we're going to do real quick on your coaching adjustments, if you don't already, make sure you have your auto alignment set to base align. You don't have to do this, but I think it helps at least – as you're kind of starting to learn the ins and outs of this play, don't use auto flip yet until you kind of learn this um, to its core. So Buck Slant 3, and all we're going to do is we're going to come out and we're going to pinch the defense. We're going to crash our line down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to QB contain, slide this corner in right off the edge here. And then we're going to go to um, some heavy adjustments here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to zone the inside linebacker on the left side of the screen. So I like to put him in a deep third. We're then going to take our uh, outside linebacker on the right side of the screen here. And we're going to drop him into a purple zone. We're going to take our user player and blitz him. And we're going to kind of hover him right into this position right here. And then with that left side safety, we're going to put him in a hook curl. Now, our lurk with our user is basically we're going to go down and then we're going to go to the left to try to cover any slant routes on the left side of the screen. So snap of the ball, you're going to go down, and then you're going to go to the left. And as you can see, you're going to get some pretty decent pressure here off the left side. Now, most of the time, you're going to end up actually getting pressure. Um, you're going to actually end up getting edge pressure with this. Um, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let's see. Let's repinch the defense here. But you see there's the setup. And now we're going to kind of hover, like I said, right in this gap. Snap of the ball. Go. And, um, oops, I think I might have accidentally crashed the line to the left. Let's make sure we crash it down this time. So we'll pinch the defense, crash our line. And then, and like I said, with this with this specific blitz you know the contain is actually really really important um, but you're normally going to get that left edge pressure now against some formations this does come in better than others and against um against practice mode it is a little bit finicky i will say that but i personally think that using this left of screen backer uh, right here does work a little bit better uh, especially if you kind of stack him like right in here. You just want to make sure that the defensive tackle is on the contain. Um, as long as that defensive tackle is on the contain, you're good. Now, you could if you wanted to. Um, you can use the linebacker on the left side of the screen. It's not going to necessarily make the blitz worse or better. Uh, one other thing that you do have to realize is you're only blitzing 
you're only really blitzing um you see here like if i take savage if i leave that middle linebacker blitzing it's still only blitzing five because you're going to go into coverage with your user um, and you'll see if you do that you're going to go in every single time if you leave that left side linebacker blitzing but what i like to try to do is kind of run a little bit more of a passive pressure i really only want to send three uh, and so you can actually uh, get a three-man version of this, but it doesn't come in all the time, but it does come in sometimes. Uh, it just kind of depends on how the, the formation picks it up. So, you know, if you want to gas them up, I would probably send five. But if you if you really want to be a little bit more patient, all you have to do is send three, maybe even, or four, maybe even three players at the opponent. Um, but what you could see is something like this right here. Right? You do something like this, and now snap of the ball and you're going to see you're going to get that edge pressure every single time so if you send five you're always going to get pressure in my opinion it's actually you know fairly common at least for me uh when running this that when i send uh, when i only send four it actually works more times than you would think um, you just typically get that animation that instant win to me this is the closest resemblance of dime 146 it actually does a really good job too um, against the pass but it also does a pretty good job against any shotgun running plays so that's another reason that this is just a really really good formation um, to, to learn and to really master but overall you know you'll see this this nickel two for five like i said the three man is not as consistent um, as the five man version of this but there's a, several different varieties that you can do um, to be able to get some pressure, you know. And, and like I said, if you do something like this, you'll see this is the four-man version, snap of the ball, and you're going to get somebody. You're either going to get the gap pressure, the edge pressure, or the looping pressure on that in that specific example. But the nickel 245 has a lot you can do with it this year. Um, not only can you do the pressure setups like I'm showing you right here, but you can also do some really, really cool things out of a max coverage type of situation. But you'll see something like this right here works pretty well. Um, you see right here, get that looping. I think that time we got almost got a gap pressure. But by and large, guys, this is a really, really solid pressure that you can utilize. Again, practice mode does kind of make it a little bit weird this year. And, and, and you know, if and what I would say is, you know, test this out in game and see. But you'll see over time, this is very, very consistent in game. Um, practice mode sometimes, you know, kind of frustrates me a little bit because it doesn't always show you exactly how powerful a play is. But it is good for getting additional reps. And you've seen the blitz come in. Uh, a few times untouched you're going to get that more consistently in game than you are in practice mode uh, as just been my experience with it but if you come down make a good play with your user you see there sometimes you will get a gap pressure and that's why i personally like the five man version of the blitz because with the five man version of the blitz you're going to get better pressure you're going to get um, more consistent a gap pressure um, which that pressure will just come in from time to time and give your opponent something to think about so just a lot of really really good stuff you see there there's that a gap pressure coming in again so um, just a really really good play overall so i wanted to share it with you i wanted to talk about it for those of you that already seen um, me talk about this before again i just want to do a quick refresher this is one of the best blitzes in the game and i just think it's really really important to start applying some of these concepts whether it be from the nickel 245 or the nickel normal or even the big nickel over g um, they kind of overlap a little bit but this is a very very good concept for getting pressure from a four down lineman set in this year's game and I would highly, highly recommend you check out the defensive ebook in the description of this video. One thing I want to tell you before I take off is um, I started this new thing for people who really want to go a little bit deeper. I wanted to kind of figure out who at my channel wants to go to the next level. These are the people that really want to take their game to competitive level. And what I did was I started a texting membership. Basically, very, very simple to sign up. All you have to do is send me a text message. Um, my number's in the description. It's also my number is 812-216-3644. And it's at the top left of most every video that I do. What I want you to do is I just want you to text in and let me know you want to, you want to go to the next level. You want to be a part of the texting membership. And what you get with that is you get a video designed every single week to basically be a high level meta tip something that's very very powerful something that and and i will be going in depth and detail in explaining why it's so powerful what you can take away from it 
what you can learn from it. So I'm just really, really excited to start that. I think it's going to help a lot of people. I think it's going to help deepen your guys' knowledge and wisdom about this game. And now I'm just really excited about it. So if you want to go to the next level, send me a text message. You can also check out the rest of this defense uh, over at my, uh, my Madden 21 competitive guide, which is in the description if you want to get the rest of the guide. Um, we have a gap pressure, run defense, goal line defense, man coverage, zone coverages um, that are really, really, really good. So thanks for your time, and we will see you on our next video. Remember, we are streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. on YouTube if you want to come by and hang out.